Hi guys, it's Wombat and today we're going to talk about some trailer types that we usually don't have on ETS. Uh, you're going to need mods to, to get these. It's the rigid or semi or tandem or BDF trucks hauling uh, drawbar, dog puppy or dolly trailers, whatever you want to call them. And specifically we're going to look at Scania trucks, both the SCS Scania trucks as well as RJL's Scania trucks. And the reason I'm doing this is because I recently did a video of a Brazilian map where I was hauling a um, tandem truck trailer uh, using a Scania T truck by RJL. And I got a lot of questions about how I did that. So I thought I'd do a video on how you do it. And while I'm at it, uh, show you how to do it with the uh, trucks made, the Scania trucks, or essentially all SCS trucks as well. So um, let's do this. So, for, we're gonna start by going through the mods you need to make any, uh, not only the Scanias, but any SCS truck and turn that into a BDF. Um, and the mod you're gonna need is BDF Tandem Truck Pack by Fleming. It's currently in version 103. That's it. This mod includes not only the rigid chassis, it also includes the dolly trailers so this is it but when it comes to torpedoes it gets a little bit more complicated uh, you're gonna need a few more mods uh, but I'm gonna go through all of them first off is the RJL trucks because they are the foundation here yeah, they are the trucks we're gonna use to make BDFs uh, of the torpedoes and there are two ways of doing this the way I prefer to do is is to add all his four trucks um, which is the Scania R Scania R4 series his T mod and his T4 series mod but if you just want to make T mods you can use just this one you don't have to add any of the other three trucks or truck mods to do that. However, if you want to make, say, four series uh, rigids, you're going to need this one as well, the Scania R and Streamline modifications. And for the T4 series, you will also need the Scania R and Streamline modifications, but you don't need the four series mod. So this one and this one requires this one. This one is standalone. Pretty confusing, isn't it? But so keep it simple. Just add all four of them and I would add them in this order. The Scania R and Streamline modification at the bottom, followed by 4 series, followed by T mod, followed by T4 series. Just to keep it simple. Uh, of course, that gives us the trucks we want to use, but to then have the um, uh, tandem add-on for the regular R4 and R trucks, we're going to need this add-on by cost. And if you want to make the T models, into rigids we're gonna need this one by cause and this one requires this one so keep it simple just add both of them and make sure that you not that it really matters but i would always add the t rigid above the tandem add-on both again by cost of course we're gonna need trailers for our rigids as well and for that you have either Ekeri 
or Cracker, both by cost. So we have the Equity Traders here, and the Equity Tandem Add-on here. And because I don't want to be limited to holding in this in Scandinavia, I'm adding this one as well, which allows us to use these trailers everywhere. And I mean literally on any map mod. And we're going to add the crackers as well. So we have the cracker walking floor pack by cost. This is his cracker trailers. And then we have the tandem add-on on top of that. And of course we don't want to be limited to just Scandinavia for this. We add the no limit mod as well. So there you have it. For standard uh, Scandias by SCS you need <laughs> Fleming <laughs> and if you want to use a torpedo you might need all of these um, so yeah there's a lot but there are no conflicts between these uh, bear in mind though that this is done on 1.35 the open beta um, be careful uh, removing any of these or adding them in any other order than I am doing it here uh, this is what is working for me on 135 and this is how i've always had them so um, make sure you add them in the correct or same order as i do now for the trucks uh, we have three different options and three is because we have the standard ses trucks where we use the fleming mod that works the same across the board for all the different SCS trucks, so uh, Renaults, Mercedes, MAN, DAF, Volvo, doesn't really matter. It is the same for all of them. So I'm going to show you how you do it on a one of the uh, SCS trucks, and of course I'm going to do it with one of the Scania trucks. Uh, you're going to have to use the top line or highline or normal doesn't really matter uh, and then change the chassis and here you find a good selection of other chassis you have the uh, 4x2 tandem 6x2 4 tandem 6x2 4 tandem tag lift 6x4 tandem and 6x4 tandem tag lift as well as 8x4 4 tandem this is my favorite uh, and if we then look at the um, different boxes we have, we have um, Universal, we have uh, Profile Liner, Cool Liner, Container, and System. Now the System is unique for um, Fleming's mod. We don't have these by cost himself he doesn't make any of these himself at least there is possibly mods that you can add to his trucks uh, sorry trailers to add that as well um, but with this setup you only have uh, tankers or, or sisters on Fleming's mods if we then have a look at RJL's mods one. Uh, you'll have to go with either normal, highline or top line. You can't use extended and definitely not long line. If you try to use an extended, as you can see there are no tandems here. So, But if we use the top line, highline and normal, you'll find the uh, chassis by cost. And there's a ton of them. And um, uh, tag lift, there it is. This is my favorite again. And so there you have that, and of course, you can change the uh, box. We have equi boxes, uh, truck paint as well, uh, coolers. And we have cracker boxes. 
NTM boxes. Unfortunately, neither NTM or VAC have dolly options. So even though we can use these boxes on the truck, we can't then select VAC or NTM, which is a couple of other trailing mods by cost. We can't use them as um, BDF trailers. So that is unfortunate. But there you have it for the um, RJL and RJL R4 uh, series trucks. Uh, the options for the um, torpedoes is a bit fewer. You can't use longline. But you can use extended. And with that you have four different chassis. 6x4 and 6x2 and it's the same then for the um, uh, top line and normal so it varies a little bit between the torpedoes uh, on which you can't have 8x4 um, so yeah, a little bit unfortunate, but um, it is what it is. Now, if you're using Fleming's mod for this, you have three options here. You have the Dolly Traders. You have the No Traders, which allows you to use the um, rigids as standalone. So you have a rigid chassis without an, a Dolly or tandem trailer behind it. Speaking of, you also have the tandem trailers here. And this is pretty standard, right? Nothing problematic here. Shouldn't really be. When it comes to the Ecri and Cracker, it's a little bit different. We have the standard trailers here, double trailers as well. And one dolly for cracker now since this is running on 1.35 i highly 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 recommend that you don't change the uh, box on the trailer uh, the reason for that is that some of them not specifically for Cracker, more like that with Ecri. Um, the game freezes if you try to change the uh, body style. So, um, for now, since uh, cast trailers hasn't been officially updated for 135, I would stay away from making modifications to the body of the trailer. Um, Changing the number of axles uh, isn't a problem with Cracker. There might be problems with that on on Ecri trailers. Again, this is uh, 135 open beta using trailer mods that work specifically for 134. So be happy that any of this work. <laughs> uh, so there is the um, single Cracker dolly you can use for ecris there are a few we have this uh, tandem trailer here as well as a dolly and another dolly and a third dolly here uh, now again and especially with ecris don't change the bodies right now uh, it might freeze your game and basically the same goes for the uh, axles uh, there are some of them you can change between but I'm not gonna go through which one that is figure it out for yourself um, no by the way no huge fan of uh, this these uh, tiny uh, tiny tandem trailers I would prefer the uh, huge tandem trailers instead uh, sorry, the, the huge um, uh, dolly trailers instead. Instead. So, and I know for a fact that if I change this to the reefer and the dry van, my game will freeze, like completely freeze. 
so I'm not gonna change that. Um, so, but there you have the trailers. And yes, you can use costs trailers with Fleming's rigids and vice versa. Uh, <laughs> just a proof of concept. So uh, it, it's not something I do. And for this video, we haven't looked at at all the different skins or the modifications you can do to both the trucks and the trailers for this. Uh, there's a huge uh, community out there who is dedicated to making uh, matching skins for the rigids and, and the trailers. Uh, there is uh, a ton of different add-ons that you can use on both the trucks and the trailers as well. You can change the tires, you can change the lights, you can change uh, a lot of things. And there are also add-ons both for Fleming and for Cost's trailers so that you can add additional types of trailers at least to Cost. Cost is the one I'm using most of the time. There are even uh, rigid um, add-ons that allows you to use um, cost rigid chassis on the standard SES Scania trucks as well. It doesn't work great at the moment, probably because I'm on 135. To be honest, I've never tested it myself, even on 134 or earlier. Uh, so I'm gonna wait with that and besides Fleming works beautifully as it is uh, so I've never seen a reason to to use costs with with the standard trucks uh, but of course there are other add-ons as well that allows you to uh, have something like this set up with with flatbeds instead or um, of course with um, dumpers and uh, containers everything you can imagine there's a lot of mods out there for Ecury and for cost mods in general uh, as well as for Fleming's mods and please do not forget that for this video I haven't done anything more or less at least to neither the trucks nor the trailers it's just especially the trailers it's just default so I haven't added or done any modifications whatsoever. Um, dream up your own looks for both the truck and the trailer. And of course skins. There are templates out there that allows you to make your own skins for these things. I used to have one. It uh, doesn't work anymore. Uh, and I never seem to find be able to find a time to, to make a new one. It, it, it takes... A little time to make skins for rigids I'm not gonna lie about it especially if you want a skin for the for the trailer as well but it's not that difficult really uh, it is not a technical problem it's it's a matter of how much time you have to spend on making the skins how beautiful you want the skins to look that that is what it's all about really uh, technically it's no problem at all um, so that is what I wanted to show you today this is how you make your own rigid whatever Scania truck you want including the T mods of course so with that said there are links in the description to all the mods I showed you in this video and if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe as well. And as always, feel free to share my videos on all your social media. It makes me very, very happy when that happens. So keep on keeping me happy. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>